good morning everybody welcome back to the channel and um yeah so two things we're going to talk about today one obviously is the pixel buds here i'm going to be talking about them uh what i've experienced with the new software update that has come to the pixel buds and i have a uh, pretty important message that i do want um i do want the community to hear so i'm going to say something it's not tech related um but it's something that i feel like that needs to be said so yeah maybe i'll ruffle some feathers i don't know okay so first off let's go with the pixel buds okay so um great design don't get me wrong great design i love the fit in the ear um the sound quality to me is awesome i like them top notch yeah i like them however there was an issue when these came out that issue was plagued by head movement that caused either um, disconnection for a brief second. So like it would cut in, cut out either on one side, the other side or both sides. And this happened when you turned your head. So, you know, if I was listening to music and I'm jamming, this is, I'm like, you know, I hear someone call my name and I turn, one would cut. And it gets pretty annoying because, you know, when you're walking around and you're doing stuff, you know, like you have them in your ear, maybe you decide to like, you know, clean your house and... You have them in your ear because you want to listen to music while you rock out and pretty much like, you know, sterilize your whole house. Uh, it gets pretty annoying when you're turning your head and the, and the audio gets cut. So Google had wind of this. Google knew about this and Google went ahead and said that they were going to fix this with a software update because it was a software issue, not a hardware issue. So we're like, OK, um, well, a couple of days ago. I got the software update because the original software that was on these, if you went in your Pixel Buds app and you looked, it was um, it was 225. 225 was the original software. And a couple days ago, I noticed that there was an update for it because when I looked at the software, one, it said that it had been updated recently. And two, the software version number was 296. I was like, oh, okay, so now the fix is out. So tested out the Pixel Buds, connected them to my Pixel 2 XL, not a major problem at all whatsoever. Turned my head, music was still going, but like, you know, close to an hour mark, I kind of went like this, and the left side just cut in and out. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> still not uh, performing the way it should. Um, but, I mean, that happened once. And I was like, oh, okay. It really didn't happen again that day, so like, I was like, okay, I'm going to play around with it and see if I can replicate this and see if it's going to be an ongoing thing. Now, when I went to the gym the other day before our fair governor decided to close out parks, gyms, and everything again for another 30 days, so no gym for me for a whole month again, um, I had it connected to my Pixel 3a, and that's where it started to fail. The Pixel 3a, every time that I was on the treadmill, I was on the bicycle, I was doing any type of workout that was having me move a lot, it was like distorted fuzzy sound and cutting in and out and I was like what is going on and I'm you know and the same thing happened with the Pixel 3 uh that was the same issue I had with the Pixel 3 when I had the Pixel 3 on the original software it was doing the same thing so it was like it, it was like it wasn't fixed and um I started watching in uh, the, the Pixel Buds app to see how it was going and yes one was draining battery faster than the other and I'm like oh my god it's still doing the same thing uh, but I did notice something, though. When I have these connected to the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL, they're working okay. It's when I have it connected to the Pixel 3 and the 3a is where there's an issue. And like one thing that I see that, that is pretty uh, similar um, is like on the Pixel 2 and 2 XL, the Pixel Buds app is in the app drawer. So you can find the app that says Pixel Buds. On the Pixel 3a and the Pixel 3, it's hidden. You don't see it in your app drawer, but when you go to the Play Store and you're like, I want to download the Pixel Buds app, it already says it's downloaded and installed. I got to just click open. Click open, opens up the menu to the Pixel Buds, but the app itself is not in the app drawer. It's a hidden app. So it's like, what? okay. Now I'm not saying that that's the reason why that these connection issues are happening, but the way that the Pixel Buds app is implemented in the Pixel 3 and 3a may be the reason why that it's acting that way compared to on the Pixel 2 and 2XL. Um, again, doing some more testing. I'm going to test this out more with the Pixel 2 XL, see if it starts to become a problem with it, give feedback to Google so that way they understand that this recent release of the software did not 
fully fix it. Um, but yeah, if you own a Pixel Bud and you have a Pixel 3 or 3a, let me know. Is it still doing the same thing for you guys? Are you guys still getting cut-ins and cut-outs? Is it, are you hearing any any like fuzzy, hazy sounds out of it? You guys let me know in the comment section to let me know if that's still happening for you guys. Um, anyways, I'm going to place this on the charger here and let it wirelessly charge. Um, but yeah, because the Pixel Buds, great sound. I like the sound that comes out of it, okay? Um, I, I think it's great. It works great for me. I like the adaptive sound, so I'm able to you know play my music at a reasonable level where I'm not blowing out my eardrums. But I can still hear people to the side of me. To me, that's more a more of an important function. I don't want to be completely isolated in the sound. If I wanted to be isolated in sound without anybody bothering me, then I would use my Treblab Z2s or my Treblab X5s because those have um, active noise cancellation. So it will cancel out any outside, any outside sound, making it where I'm immersed in my music. But if you know, I, <clears throat> at the gym, I want when I'm working out, I want to still be able to hear because I go to the gym, I work out with my lady and. You know, if she says something to me, tells me something that she's reading on her phone while she's, you know, you know, on the bicycle, just you know, bike pedaling, um, especially news. I want to be able to hear it and not completely ignore her. So, um, I like that aspect that I can still hear things around me while listening to my music at a decent level. But anyways, guys. Okay, so let's get real serious. All right, I'm talking to the community here. Now, hopefully, you guys watch this all the way through. Um, look. You know, I'm going to be honest with a lot of people. There's there's going to be a time where I'm going to have to put down my channel. There's going to be a time where Aloha Android is just done. You know, it has to be. I'm not I'm not, I'm not getting younger, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to be 38 in uh, about a month and a half. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm getting older. And, you know, technology is growing and there's going to be certain things that, you know, I don't uh, know or understand. I mean, I can learn about it. Um, but then I wouldn't, you know, I would feel like I wouldn't be able to help anybody with information such as that if I have to be the one, you know, studying and learning about it. So, you know, eventually just one day I'm just going to have to put my channel down. And, you know, the reason why I have different channel links in my description, the reason why I push guys like Lawrence and, you know, and... Um, Technoid and Ray, Carlos, you know, Ricky, Ricky returned. So um, welcome back, Rick and uh, everybody else. The reason why that I'm pushing a lot of these channels is because they are the future in this space that I feel like deserve the views and deserve the attention. You know, um, there are a lot of uh, content creators that talk about tech. They focus on phones. They, they, they focus on prepaid plans. They focus on postpaid plans. They focus on a lot of things. Um, they don't really focus too much on the network and that's a part of the telecom industry and mobile technology that needs to be highlighted uh, More and more people are very interested in knowing how their network works They want to know how it works so they understand what's going on because nothing is more you know, Frustrating and infuriating when somebody is like my phone's not connected I'm getting the worst data speeds and like somebody like Sneak can swoop in there and say, okay, you know what, um, by you know checking Signal Check Pro and, and all these things, they can tell them exactly why they're not getting the best feeds. They call into a customer care rep and they're just gonna say, we're we're working on the tower right now and it's an estimate that'll be like 14 days that it's back up and running. We appreciate your patience. We'll give you a five dollar credit and blah blah blah. Yeah, no one wants to hear. People want actual definitive answers, and so <clears throat> you have the SMT community that is all about. You know, talking about all aspects of mobile technology and really teaching people about how the networks are happening, how Spectrum is, what what Spectrum is, how how all this stuff is is going. They really um, they really emphasize on that. So um, yeah, with, with <clears throat> I don't know how it is with any other community out here on YouTube, but I can tell you guys right now, like within the community, the you know the negativity that that involves in that, you know, it's very toxic. It, it, it very much so is and um, you know I would say to, to, to those in the community like let's uh, let's stray away from the toxicity of the negativity that is trying to be brought in or you know I mean it happens like you know there's there's trolls and all kinds of other things that that goes on, on the internet uh, you know uh, that's something that's beyond our control we can't control keyboard warriors or anything like that but we can control our emotions and we can control ourselves and I would say um, let's be a bit more positive about things. Let's not focus on the negativity. Even if the person is like trying very, very hard to get under everyone's skin, 
don't let it get under your skin. Geez, someone's got brontosaurus feet running up there. Um, you know what? Because I, I you know, I, I really want to see these channels grow. I would hate for any any one of these content creators should just like give up and quit. Um, that's <clears throat> to me, that's something that's not needed. It's 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 just really not needed. You know, um, we got several uh, new content creators and, and content creators that are just getting a, a push. Um, Gene is actually pushing out uh, a channel that's launching today, and we're excited for that. Uh, Ricky, uh, RFK Tech, just returned from a, a small brief um, vacation to take time to himself. So welcome him back. And, um, you know, Lawrence is pushing hard with the speed test on his channel. And Carlos is, you know, uploading here and there um, his rigorous speed tests in the areas that he drives and travels to. Uh, Ray covering, uh, you know, smartphones and, you know, um, the, the mobile industry itself, as well as, uh, you know, networks. Um, so shout out to Ray. Uh, Technoid hitting everyone from, like... You know, uh, mobile tech news, telecom news, gaming news, ultimate fighting. You know, you got a good, you got a good spread of people, and then you got Sneed himself. You know, who's just like really trying to keep the consumers informed. Um, you got uh, Alex, um, Alex, which you know, uh, big shout out to him and welcome to the community. Um, pushing his channel and giving his perspective on mobile technology, and also. Um, helping people understand how credit in life works and how to build credit, you know? So, you know, do you guys see the differences between all these content creators and how they bring, like, we're, we're all connected with, with the passion of mobile technology and the television industry, but we also bring a little extra to the table, right? So it's like having, it's like having your main course and like having like a really awesome side dish to go along with it from each person. And, um, I wouldn't want anyone to really kind of quit on this. I wouldn't want anyone to stop what they're doing or just walk away from it because they don't want to deal with the drama. And we each could do our part just by not really pumping up the drama or giving it so much attention. You know, I would like to, you know, one day when I'm ready to say that it's time to say Aloha to Aloha Android and just be done. I would like to see that these channels are flourishing and successful and doing great. Because I'm still going to be a fan. I'm still going to come in and watch. I'm still going to come in and, you know, and, and chat with everybody. I'm not going to, you know, just like completely disappear from everybody. But, of course, the videos and stuff would stop on my channel. So I would say this to everybody out there. Um, let's, just, let's just be better men and women. Let's just be better men and women. And let's just rise above it. Anyways, guys, if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video to this point, hashtag SMT positivity. We really appreciate that if you guys watched it all the way through. If you guys have anything to add on to either one of the, of the subjects I talked about, you guys can do that in the comment section of the video. Smash that like button to let me know you enjoyed today's video. And if you just subscribed to my channel, thanks so much for doing so. Really appreciate that. You guys hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload another video or when I go live. I'm planning to go live again. August and yes that is it for today's video thanks for checking it out and as always law